Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I decided to set up a channel to bring you guys an insight into some of my projects. What are these projects? Well, as the name of the video might suggest, this channel will mainly be about my project cars. There will be other videos on a range of topics such as building a wood burner or an oil burner, garage heating systems, solar power for camping, as well as some track day coverage, some drift days, and maybe some meat videos as well. So if this type of thing interests you, stay tuned to the channel for some regular updates. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. So on to the cars. Number one, my daily wagon, the E36 328i Touring. I bought this back in March this year, around nine months ago. It's fairly standard at the moment and it's pretty much how I bought it. It's got some 18 inch wheels, um, an M Sport front bumper, pod filter, and a, uh, and a back box on it. Now some of the plastics have been painted pink by the previous owner. So we'll need to sort that out. The plan for the E36 is for it to remain a usable daily. I've fitted a roof rack to it and surely we'll be putting on a tow bar to tow the other cars around to track days and drift days and um, for when they go to body shops and such for any, any paint work. It has got a little bit of rust um, on some of the panels, on some of the boot and on the wing, so the respray is probably on the cards at some point to sort these out. I've also thought about uh, doing an LPG conversion to uh, help with the, some of the running costs. The fuel economy is pretty good for the size of the engines, but an LPG conversion for the mileage I do will help to bring fuel costs down and that means more money for car parts, so how can you argue against that? Number two, Nissan 200SX or 240SX if you're in the States, uh, S14A Silvia. This I bought around two years ago, uh, completely bone stock. It did take me a while to find the right spec that I was looking for and for the right price and that wasn't the other end of the country as half of them seem to be. The plan for the Silvia is to make it into a kind of fast road car and not a drift slag, which I'm sure will be a disappointment to a lot of you. But I want it as a very clean, fast road car. I don't want to ruin it by drifting it into a wall. But you might ask, well, what am I going to use for drifting? Well, stay tuned, and we will get to that at some point. So during the January sale uh, last Christmas, I spent far too much money on the Driftworks website and bought the full suspension package for the, Sil the S14 Silvia. So coilovers, bushes, arms, etc. As well as uh, an exhaust, a uh, Nardi steering wheel, an air filter. Now, before that, I, uh, around a year ago, fitted a drift, again, Driftworks front mount in the cooler. The old ones seemed to be leaking and it wasn't boosting properly, uh, not fueling correctly, it just wasn't running right. So a little bit of research online showed that the standard wing mount intercoolers can crack. So I thought, well, this is a perfect excuse to upgrade to a front mount. So did this and uh, it cured all the problems pretty much. It boosted properly. Uh, the emissions uh, came up as being off uh, the MOT, but this turned out to be a faulty lander sensor. So put this, put a new lander sensor in, and um, yeah, it fueled properly, and um, had more power and used less fuel at the same time. Now the front mount was a bit of a rush job. Now the car's off the road. We'll be coming back to this to fit it more securely and um, to tidy up the whole setup really. So at the moment the car is up at my unit which I'll take you to uh, in a bit. It's sitting outside it at the moment because I still haven't finalized the, uh, the layout in there. There's still some things to organize. So I can't quite get them in. and I don't want to just put it in there um, and not be able to work around it. So some tidying up of the unit to do and then the, the S14 will go in there. I can then set about fitting all these Driftworks parts to it and then get some wheels. Now it's got the standard 16s on the moment and for a while, for quite a while, I've wanted some rotor grid drifts in white. It's a, it's a sapphire blue, I think that's the right color code for it. Sapphire blue um, car. So a set of white 18 inch rotor grid drifts in a nine and a half ET20 fitment on the back so lots of dish 
um, similar on the front but a little bit narrower is what I is what I've wanted for a while however recently I saw some work emotion DR D9Rs DR9s um, in silver with a polished lip now I think these look really good um, haven't managed to find any pictures of them fitted to an S14 only managed to see them fitted to an Evo I think they are more expensive so at the moment a little bit torn between rotors and the works let me know what you guys think um, if you have any preferences I may end up probably getting both wheels knowing me but we'll see so last but not least number three my Mark V Fiesta ZTKS now I've owned this car for six years now and it's undergone quite a lot of work in those six years so again bought fairly standard um, just a cap back a pod filter and some rather chavvy and outdated now Lexus lights so these were the first to go so since then I've done a lot of work to it it's now running a 1.7 Puma engine a full exhaust AP coilovers ST170 brakes Pro Race 3 wheels, Sparco seats, you know, the list the list goes on and on. But this will be the big project if you like. I'll be stripping the Fiesta down to a bare shell and de-rusting the shell completely and putting it on a spit, so a big uh, rotisserie. I'm then going to put in a Racing Puma wide track front end, so this is wishbones, um, drive shafts, hubs etc to make the, uh, the front a wider track. As well as this, I'm putting in some calm fiber um, wider arches. So it's going to have a, a, a wide arch look, as well as some other aero work as well, such as a uh, flat floor, um, rear diffuser, um, front wing. Not, uh, not excessive looking aero, but some functional pieces. And lastly, turbo power. So the plan I have at the moment is to turbo the Puma engine. And probably take it to around 250 horsepower maybe 300 not sure if the gearbox will really take this though if this isn't enough I might step up to um, either a ZTEC engine or a Duratec engine or some, something else which can take more power reliably but at the moment the plan is with the Puma is to turbo the Puma engine we'll put that in the car see how that runs and if um, the time comes which it inevitably will we want more power then we can set about doing something more with it then. So now I'm going to go out and wash the E36 because it is disgusting. It hasn't been washed in months. And with the winter here in the UK, it's, yeah, it's horrible. Um, the car just gets dirty so quickly. So I'm going to give that a uh, blast with the, the snow foam. And then we're going to head up to the unit and I'll give you a tour around of the three cars and of the unit itself and we'll cover some of the other projects that you might see on the channel. So I'll see you outside and then later on up at the unit. It's not been cleaned in about a month so here we go. So here's the E36, it's a 328. Uh, on the back at the moment we've got a 17 a BBS because one of the 18s uh, got buckled. But the, uh, the rest are, I think they're MV2s, um, if I'm not wrong. Uh, M Sport bumper on the front and the Angel Eyes as well with some yellow um, main beam lights. I said before it's got a, um, a scorpion back box on it, uh, an air filter and, and the 18s as well. Uh, full uh, black leather interior, obviously there's a manual as well. So now I'm going to uh, look at the, the Silvia and the Fiesta. So it's uh, 1999, it's 14A. 
just uh, just front mount on it at the moment. Um, the rest of it is standard uh, with a with a desk tune shifter inside. Um, yeah, so it's not looking in too great a shape at the moment. It has been sitting for uh, about nine months now. So. And the Fiesta, so it's Mark V Fiesta 2002, um, we had Puma engine, coilovers, exhaust, etc. Um, so again, some odd wheels on the back, that was because one of them got punctured. Inside, so it's uh, Sparco Torino's in the front, uh, no rear interior. See, it's looking a, bit, a little bit damp inside. Again, this hasn't moved for nine months. And it's got a 300mm um, SD170 brakes on the front as well. So we'll be getting these two inside uh, eventually. So I'm just going to take you around the unit. This is where all the, the work's going to take place. Uh, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but we're going to tidy all this up. And uh, Sylvia's going to sit in here. And then the Fiesta will go next to it. Obviously that's going to go up on a, a spit at some point. There's the suspension stuff that's going to go on the Sylvia. Um, loads of wheels in here. I have a, a bit of a wheel collection going on. Um, so some style 32s. You can't really see them under there for the um, for the BMW. Those are E39 fitment I believe. So eight and a half, nine and a half. Um, so they're the big offset ones. Some uh, Pro Race 3s there that came off the Fiesta. One of these is damaged off a curb. And it's that one. It's actually cut into the tyre at some point. Clipped it on a curb, which I was annoyed about. Um, some more Fiesta wheels or Ford wheels, so SD170s and some 16 Mondeos. Other stuff we got in here. Obviously, uh, it's not all about cars, so we've got. Uh, Gonna be making a wood burner out of this old compressor, which is getting a bit knackered now. So we're gonna strip the uh, the compressor off there and, and make the tank into a to a wood burner, so we can get rid of all this wood. Well, not get rid of it, use it to heat the garage. Um, see, at the moment, it's taking up a bit too much space. Just to help with the uh, the damp problems, we've got a dehumidifier in here. So you're just feeding this tank so eventually I'm going to plumb this in up to this thing and have a, a hot water heater to um, just bring some hot water in so I can wash dirty hands and stuff like that. This is going to go down here so we're going to have a hot water tank above and a pump system and to feed the sink there so I need to get rid of all, all this really because um, it is in the way. Once the uh, once this is plumbed, I'm also going to use we've got a spare radiator over here from Fiesta. So we're going to use that, put it in around around here somewhere, and plumb that up to the to the the wood burner, and actually have that as a as a radiator. So some more heating, save using the electric heaters and, and stuff, which um, also uses more electricity, costs more money. All other things, you know, I've got some solar panels, so we're doing work, some work um, with some these are 175 watt panels. There's two of them, so I used to take camping, so there'll be some some videos on that. Also down here, 1966 Lambretta, that's a Li150. Took that apart a few years ago. I've had that quite a while now. Um, it's in boxes somewhere over there all different parts so there'll be some videos on that rebuild other stuff you might be seeing on the channel uh, some RC cars those are nitro ones which I mean, haven't run in years but might be getting them back to back together uh, under here Puma engine the old Puma engine that decided to to give up um, 
lost all compression a few years ago and had to change that on the Fiesta. That's some other things. So there's all some of the Lambretta parts. Got a uh, FRP rear beam, so that'll be going on the Fiesta as well. Spare gearbox. Also got um, a lot of waste ore that I've collected from oil changes over the years. I don't even know how many litres in there, but it's quite a few five litre bottles. So at some point, um, going to be making a waste oil burner. And somewhere in here, a little uh, part I got from, I had to get this from America. It uh, uses compressed air, so put compressed air in uh, through here. And then I put an oil line into that top piece. And then that will draw the oil through there via the compressed air and then shoot it out of that nozzle as a atomized spray. So uh, we're going to use that as a, an oil burner at some point to again to heat the garage because I've got plenty of fuel. I think this is a 1.8 sort of two liters per hour nozzle, something like that, I can't remember now. Um, yeah, so we'll use that uh, in a, put that into a chamber, combustion chamber or something, and um, use that for, for heating. So we've got plenty of oil there, so we'll be putting in some um, sort of roofing up there, some, some, some attic space, some boarding across create some more space because obviously there's a lot of space but then there's a lot of stuff so to have some working space around the cars I'm gonna have to um to create some more space so that'll be a good chunk that will be good for storage obviously when the two cars are apart there's going to be parts everywhere so another one of these red um, storage shelves will fit there I was going to put another one in there I haven't quite decided whether to or not yet um, I may just get a new toolbox because I need a new one because this is just full of full of stuff there's not enough space for my tool so I might get a bigger toolbox in there so yeah stay stay tuned um, we'll have more more updates um, when we do some work on the Fiesta and the Silvia once we get them in here first up will be some some work on the, the E36 we've got some gaskets to replace on that and some uh, CSV valve uh, put the new wheels on it's going to get uh, terra cleaned oh, it is in a couple of weeks so I'll have it terra cleaned before then just to make sure the emissions are fine because I always have uh, problems with my cars at M MOT emissions so just um, gonna get that done before then it has got cats in it so but um, I seem to be a bit jinxed with MOT emissions so we're going to put uh, terra clean treatment through it make sure it's all okay and yeah um, stay tuned I'll get some more updates um, try and do it a bit more regularly now that I've got an actual channel to make some videos for so try and get some updates fairly regularly and um, yeah stay tuned <laughs> 